there? Do you know what time it is? Uh-huh. It's Bible class time. Come, let's sing. Tick tock, says the clock. We glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock. God is very near. Tick tock, says the clock. It's time for Bible class. Tick tock, says the clock. To love and learn and love. I just love Bible class time. It's my favorite time. <laughs> yes. Right now, Malaika, should we see who else came to Bible class today? Should we have a look at who else is here? I think so too. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's look. It's you. And welcome to Bible class. We're so excited to have you join us today. Right, Malaika? Yes. And today at Bible class, we are going to learn a story from the Bible. Are you excited, Malaika? Are you excited, boys and girls? I hope that you are. But before we do that, we're going to sing our Bible word song, of course. Come, let's sing. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. I just love singing a Bible word song with you, of course. Yes, you. Right now, we're going to learn a story from the Bible. So let's open up our ears and let's close our mouths. And let's listen to the story from the Bible. Let's go. Hi there, boys and girls. We've been learning about Jacob. Do you remember there was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? And we can read about Jacob in the book of Genesis at the beginning of the Bible. And Jacob was a very interesting guy. We can learn some good things from him when God changed his heart. And we can also learn some things not to do from Jacob. Remember, he lied and he fought with his brother. And that's not okay. We shouldn't do that. But God changed his heart and we can learn from him how to reconcile, how to make friends with people that maybe you fought with before. And that's what today's story is all about. Now, Jacob had left home after he tricked his brother because his brother was so mad with him. And he went to live in another country and there he married Rachel and Leah and he had children, 11 children, and God blessed him with many, many flocks and herds, and he grew very, very wealthy. After he'd been there for 20 years, he decided to go back to the land that he had come from. And so he sat down with his family and with the people that were working with him, and they were a lot of people all together, and he said, we are going back to the country that God has promised to give Abraham and Isaac, and I believe he's going to give it to us too. And so they packed up all their belongings and they put it on camels because they didn't have cars in those days. And they packed up everything and they went on the long journey all the way back. And while they were traveling, I think Jacob was a little bit worried because he wasn't sure how Esau would greet him. Because the last time that they'd spoken, they had been fighting. Maybe you've had that with a friend. You fought with a friend and now you're not sure if they're going to be friends with you. And so Jacob prayed and he said, God, will you go with me and will you help me to make peace? And then God did an amazing thing. God appeared to him and wrestled with him. Isn't that amazing how God can be there for you and he can reassure you and he can bless you. And Jacob wrestled with God and God said to him, you've wrestled with me and you've wrestled with people and I'm going to change your name. It won't be Jacob anymore. I'm going to change it to Israel. And Israel is the nation that God created for 
the people of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the descendants, the great grandchildren that came from them have lived in the land of Israel for many, many years. And so Jacob went to go and meet with his brother Esau. But Esau, remember, was mad at him. And as he went, he remembered that God said, I will bless you and I will help you to build a great nation. And so when he met with Esau, he sent messages and gifts ahead and he said, I will be your servant. I've learned to be kind and I want to make peace. And when he saw Esau coming, at first he was a little bit scared because Esau had some warriors with him that could protect him and defend him. And Jacob thought, oh, is he going to fight with me? But then he saw Esau's face. Esau was smiling and Esau came running towards him and he put his arms around Jacob and he said, you're my brother. You are the one that I have been missing all this time. And then Jacob shared with him what had been happening for the past 20 years, how he'd been able to get married and have children and Jacob and Esau became good friends. They forgave each other for fighting and they decided to build a good friendship as brothers. And that's what I hope will happen for you as well, that you're not gonna fight with your brothers or sisters. And even if you fight with other people, go and make peace just like Jacob did. Go and give them a gift maybe. And remember to love each other and to make peace even when you used to fight. And that's what we've been learning about. We don't fight with each other. We're not going to box each other. Instead, we're going to use our energy on boxing bags, right? And we're going to fight the good fight, the good fight so that we can help each other and be good friends. Have a lovely week and remember about Abraham, Isaac and Jacob who became Israel. Boys and girls, wasn't that a cool story? Boys and girls, have you enjoyed learning all about Jacob? I hope that you did. Boys and girls, I want you to always remember that there was Father Abraham. Can you say Abraham? And then there was Isaac. Can you say Isaac? And then there was Jacob. Can you say Jacob? Well done! Well done to you too, Malaika. I saw that you were saying it too. Yes, remember that Father Abraham had many, many sons. And one of his sons was Isaac. And then one of his grandsons were, was Jacob. Yes. Should we sing Father Abraham's song, Malaika? Do you want to sing? Boys and girls, do you want to sing? I think we should sing. Just one more time. Hey, let's go. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons said, Father Abraham, I am one of them and so are you and you. So let's all praise the Lord. Yay! <laughs> well, boys and girls, we're going to say bye for now. Remember to tune in next time as we learn more and more stories from the Bible. Bye boys and girls, see you next time.